Hey, good morning my YouTube fans, Admiral Preparedness here. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. For all you folks out there who are beginner preppers, follow me along as I go into my favorite Walmart and show you the items that you at night would like to purchase that you could put in your prepping supplies. We're going to cover food, medicine, clothing, tools, survival equipment, things that you need to keep in your survival protection. This is going to be a series of videos, so stay tuned for more. First, okay folks, the first thing you need to get is a real cart that works fine. Don't, don't be one of those folks that doesn't have a good cart. It'll drive you nuts while you're out shopping. All right, our first thing is don't buy fresh vegetables. Don't buy fresh fruit. Only if you're going to consume them within the next few days. That is not really a good prepper item. I'm going to take you right down to the canned goods and show you what is good prepper items. And your sweet tooth has to be taken care of, but beware. Some items have a shelf life. Most candies do not. They're a little bit expensive. They do can, they can go rancid, but if you store them properly, all these foods right here, candies, sugars, or sweeties, will make your mouth happy, and of course your teeth rot. So think about that. This is the best place to find canned goods. Your local Walmart, Super Walmart that is. Everything from A to Z. Eat what you store, store what you eat. When you set up your pantry, set it up where you can record the expiration date of the items that you're purchasing. You don't have to go by the expiration date, but first in, last out, or last in, first out, is a good theory to go by. Find the lowest prices. Diced potatoes. You, growing your own potatoes is a good thing, but in case you can't, there are new diced potatoes. Canned carrots. These foods will last quite a good time as long as you save them at a normal temperature range. Do not let them fluctuate. These items have a shelf life but they can go rancid. The oils are the best ones to get because the oil does not get rancid because it's in a sealed container. Milk products have the, slow, have the shortest shelf life. Powdered are the best kind to get. These guys up here, you use your own ingredients later. If you don't have those ingredients, you don't use it. But remember, store what you eat, eat what you store. First in, first out. Last in, first out. However you want to go by that theory works fine. You don't want to shock your digestive system if you have to conserve your food, your caloric intake. Mayonnaise is not a very good product that has a long-term storage unless it's in a glass container. You can make your own mayonnaise if you have chickens. Ketchup has a very good storage life. Mustard has a very good storage life. Relish, mustard, all have great storage lives. Pastas. You can make your own macaroni and cheese. You don't have to buy these expensive boxes. Velveeta has a very long shelf life. These Chef Boyardee items are great for kitties, but folks, not good for your intestinal system when you're under duress. These Nor products are fantastic as long as you have the things that go in with it. Most of these ingredients require butter or some other product. Remember, when you buy your items, look for what has to be added to it. If it takes up a lot of items, it's something that you don't want to buy. Buy the noodles. Make up your own sauces. Make up your own dry sauces. These ready meals are perfect down here. These are great for that bug out bag for your work bag even though it has high sodium content these guys are the greatest you want that calorie you want that fat these items are fantastic you could eat them cold you could eat them warm by placing them in any warm object even on your car radiator the Hormel beef tips are the best ones that I've found these guys are yummy. You just remember you have to heat it up about another maybe 30 to 45 seconds above 
the required time depending on your microwave or if you're going to heat them in a boiling water. The potatoes, you have to stir them very well, mix it in with the gravy. You can add salt and pepper to taste, but I recommend these guys. Plus, they're $1.98 each. Now, what I'm taking home today are the compliments, the completes, chicken breast and dressing, beef pot roast, and the beef roast beef and gravy, mashed potatoes. In your rice department, if you love rice, the, Calif the Carolina Jasmine is what I recommend. It comes in these nice bags. They are a little bit expensive, but you can store them away in the container that they come in. They have a Ziploc top. If you have another way of storage them in an airtight container, that's even better. The success rices are great. Your rice section. Rice is a staple. If you eat rice already, your body won't have too much of a trouble transitioning. Now we've made our way to the other side of the canned goods. These are the tomato based and some more beans and rice. If you don't have B&M, you're sorely out of luck because B&M is a staple up here in New England. Bushes. Bushes is a great selection of beans. For your canned goods. Remember, beans, beans, the world around. The more you eat, the more you... Well, we'll just keep on going, folks. I don't prefer to use the ramen. I try to stay away from that as much as I can, but in a pinch, the ramens are great. The price is fantastic. You just add hot water and away you go. But remember, not very many calories. It will fill your stomach, but it's not very many calories. Your soups. Your soups are fantastic for long-term storage or short-term storage because you're going to use you're going to go through them pretty regularly. And when you set up your pantry, always remember to have it set up in your sections. It's like a grocery store, so when you go down there, you can shop like you're at a grocery store. Liquid broths are great. Some of these guys have a long, very, very long shelf life. Let's move over to the canned goodies. Now, this is my favorite section right here. What we're looking for right now are these great value pulled pork barbecue and the chicken chunk. They have the no beans for a very, very beautiful price. Hormel chili. Spam. You can get spam, but I would suggest you buy it someplace else. And what we're going to take home today, folks, is the Hormel Chili No Beans large container, one package of pulled pork and barbecue sauce, and the fully cooked roast beef. And for you folks out there who like fish, I like basically cod, tuna, and uh, lobster, but of course, that's a little bit more expensive to go into your your bug out bag or your storage but remember these have a long shelf life these new tuna in the pouches is basically MREs those are called flexible cans prices are pretty reasonable and of course these do have and will always have a good shelf life well you can always go into your oil section canolas unsaturated fat remember to read the labels oils can go rancid over time so use if you go through a lot of oil with a big family then suggest that you buy a few of these if you're on a budget always look at what I'm doing this is my budget I will purchase things that I know that I could use remember one is none two is one three is two now over here in the yummy yummy my tummy section Scientists have come up with these new microwavable dishes. And let me tell you folks, some of these are good to the tummy. Already mixed up bread, already mixed up cookies. All you have to do is add eggs. Sometimes some of these are don't have to add anything at all. And also remember when you're purchasing these items, to find the ones that don't require anything other than maybe water to cook them. The least is best. Everybody has to have a decent breakfast. And these have long-term storage capabilities. Your sugars, your molasses, your maple syrups, 
Look for the highest content of, sh of the, the, the natural ingredients. Less fructose corn syrup. Try to stay away from fructose corn syrup in your daily life and also stay away from it in your prepper life. Flour. We always need flour. Enriched, plain. If you have your own ability to store your own wheat, that's even better. A little bit of things to know that the gravies, you can make your own gravies, but if you want to buy the little pouches, that's up to your budget. Remember, salt, 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 salt. Salt stores, salt saves, salt makes your foods taste great. Certain canned fruits do not last. Remember, certain canned fruits do not last. They, they'll discolor. Some will discolor, but still taste just as yummy as the day they went in the box. Now, this is something recently coming out of the market. These Uncle Ben's Ready Rices. If you look at them, they've already been prepared. And if you look at the shelf life, Twelve nineteen. Everybody has mixed feelings about these type of foods, but if it's something you eat right away. They're great for your bug out bags. But just remember to, to put them in your cycle. Get them in, get them out. At a dollar seventy-eight, that's a pretty cheap meal. And folks, I'm going to take home these two here, the butter and garlic flavor and the roasted chicken, and we'll do a taste test in another future upcoming video. So look out for that one, folks. Look out for that new video we're going to come up with. we got to remember about cereals. Cereals in the morning is great for getting up and go, but they can cost you quite a little bit more money. Oatmeal is a great staple. It does have a good shelf life, but it does attract the little critters. So if you have to put it in a different container, even better. Those plastic totes are perfect for putting your food in. Grits. Grits is another staple, depending on what part of the country you're from. Uh, just remember that the ingredients that you add to it to enhance the flavor can come to, at a great expense. Sugar, molasses, butter, things like that. So take that into account also. These breakfast shakes, I have a several containers of these breakfast shakes that I got at Sam's Club. They are perfect for that, but you just need milk. So remember that you can buy milk that's in the long-term storage section. Walmart does not sell long-term storage milk, but cereals last, as we found out from some of my videos. So you can store cereals for long-term. You just need to make sure that they're put in a different type of container or repackaged to keep any other odors because they do absorb odors if their seals have been compromised. They will go stale if that seal is compromised also. But do your own tests. Follow along Admiral Preparedness as we show you how to do basic prepping. If you're looking for other things that have long-term storage capability, Pop-Tarts. The U.S. government uses them in their MRE breakfast meals, so they can't be wrong. And there's always peanut butter. Peanut butter is a staple. At least have at least 12 to 15 containers of peanut butter. They make a great barter item. When it comes to coffees, the world is full of different kinds of coffees. If you have a specific brand that you like, stock up on that brand in the large containers, these large cans. This is a smaller can, but it is convenient to store away coffee in these type of containers I say as long as you don't open the lid open the seal they're good everybody's trying to get away from these metal cans 25 year shelf life can coffee your teas remember teas make the day go by fantastic anytime for those sniffles or coughs tea is a great thing to have in your long-term food storage we're now in the cookie section and the fruit cup section. I've had some fruit cups last up to five years. As you've seen in past videos, they do have a good shelf life. 
but none of this does here. None of these items past that has long-term shelf lives because of the oils they use. The oils go rancid, so don't bother trying to long-term store these items. Stay out of it. If you're going to have them, have them okay, but remember, they won't last. They just won't last because of the way they're processed. Dried cranberries, dried fruits and vegetables, dried fruits. That's one of the one things that do last. They are expensive, but you could find the right price if you shop around. We all know about dried meat. If you have a dehydrator and have access to meat, now is the time to start learning how to do that. We'll talk about how to dehydrate food in another episode, but for now, these are already prepared. They are really, really expensive. So if you know somebody who knows how to make jerky, barter with them, folks. Peanuts? Peanuts are very debatable. If they don't have any oils in them, they'll have a long-term storage. If they have oils in them, get them down there, store them, eat them within six months to a year, folks. It's all about the oils. Carbonated fluids. I do not store carbonated fluids, only for the fact that it is just the money price per, it just outweighs itself. But when it comes to toilet device, toilet type materials, potty time is important. If you have to stock up, it does take up space, folks. That's the problem. If you have an issue with that, just squeeze, the, squeeze them, put them into a vacuum, store them away there is no shelf life on your bathroom products when it comes to paper but the old phone book if you, if you still get them and your neighbors are throwing them away ask your neighbors if you could have those phone books because that's what people used before there was the readily available amount of toilet paper in America we've pretty much covered cleaning materials over the years there's always a need for cleaning materials. So you have to just use your discretion on your budgeting. Paper towels, same thing. If you can use a cloth towel and reuse it, reuse it, reuse it, then try to avoid storing your paper towels. It just doesn't make any sense. When it comes to trash bags though, I would highly recommend at least about five containers of trash bags different sizes different sizes because they don't make these anymore if they become unavailable tissue paper that's another one of those judgment calls uh, I personally do not store them uh, I have other things that I could use to blow my nose and once again if you find that you can get eggs at a lower price just remember if you're getting them fresh get them unwashed there's a few videos out there that show you how to store eggs in lye basically it'll preserve them for up to a year but right now this this Walmart has great value white large eggs for 78 cents that's not too shabby if you have the ability to budget in, Oscar fully cooked bacon is perfect. It's vacuum sealed. It comes ready made, cooked. It is very expensive when it comes to that, but that's what it is. We want to go into the baby section just to make a couple comments about baby food. It does have the same expiration dates, but you want to be real careful when it comes to the canned goods. If you have little ones in your house, you have to be prepared to make your own baby food. These things are great, but remember, before this, the advent of this baby food, there was food the kids could eat. So just think about that. Uh, when you're trying to wean them off breast milk, be very careful, grab the books. If you have little ones in your house and you wanna prepare for them, you gotta be careful because the government mandates that these dry powders be taken off the market once their viability decreases because the malnutrition can occur in your children. So if you're still on formulas and things like that for your, your children or your grandchildren, just remember you have to prepare for them too. But as we all know, these things didn't exist 100 years ago. So just go back and do your research. 
if you can print the information out, print it out. Because prepping for a child is a whole lot different than prepping for an adult. I'm not really a fan of disposable diapers when it comes to children because gully gee, get out there and wash that uh, diaper out. You got fertilizer. But these things are a quick way to get the kid changed. But you have a landfill problem. A lot of these don't go well in a septic system. And it can be quite expensive. So if you're dealing with baby diapers, buy the old diapers, store them away. You can use them as you want, but just remember, these are one-time uses and they're throwaways. But a diaper has multiple uses. And after the child has grown out of them, you can use it for other things or you can barter them. Used diapers can't be bartered. Having things for the little ones stored away, I don't have mixed feelings on it at all because I don't have children that are babies anymore. I probably won't ever have them anymore again. But if you're one of the lucky ones to have children out there and you're a prepper, remember, they grow out of those clothes rather quickly. So if you have a way to get hand-me-downs or you're at your local thrift store, don't buy them new, folks. There's no need to. Most people who have children know about the one goes down, one goes up, one goes down, one goes up theory. So just remember, they grow out of them quickly. In the technology section, we're just going to skip on through this area. There's no need to even talk about technology when it comes to being a prepper because <laughs> there's not going to be any technology that you're going to need other than your own two hands and the work that you're going to do every day. These are going to consider be luxuries when there's no power. Remember, when there's no electricity, these stop working. If the transmission stations no longer exist, there's no need to have a TV. If you have videos, that's great and fine, but remember, that's still power you have to produce. If you want to keep a digital record of something and you're able to, that's fine, but in the future without power is how you're supposed to think. The future without power. When it comes to lighting, look for LEDs, low energy consumption. If you have to, you always need to store up a few items. A lot of these have shelf lives, but duct tape is endless. Duct tape will last you a long, long time. A few rolls kept in a nice dry container is your best bet, your best hedge. Most of these tapes here, you already have in your house, but not in quantity, but that's okay. Glues have a shelf life. Not very long at all. If you have to foam areas up, maybe a can of this foam to keep out the critters. Use some other material that they can't chew through and then foam them out. Again, low, low consumable light, lighting is perfect. Prep, you start now, you won't have to worry about it later because those low, low voltage consumable lights use less energy for your solar system if that's what you have. Fuel tanks, not good for long term storage, but you sure can keep them around when you need them. Lubricants and greases and oils, always have that stuff available. When it comes to energy, car batteries will be found everywhere. Don't have to worry about buying them, you'll just be able to get them at, at your picking. On your travels out, make sure you carry a crescent wrench so that way you can unbolt them. If you have a wagon, perfect, you can take them home in your wagon. When you're on the hunt for batteries, look for the deep cycle ones. These guys right here. Deep cycle means they can be taken up and taken down and not ruin the batteries. Fishing supplies do not have a shelf life. If you are anywhere near a water source, fishing supplies is a must. When the lights go out, nobody's going to be asking you for your license to fish. Bows and arrows. They're quiet and they're lethal. Air guns, BB guns. These little guys can be lethal to those little critters. Backpacks. You can never have not enough back backpacks. Your bug out backpack. Your work backpack, your school bug out backpack. Fill that guy with all the necessities that we'll cover in past and future videos. Survival. 
items that you need. Any camp store will have what you want at any time. Just use your discretion, and if your budget doesn't allow it, then just move on. We're just going to cover small items here. Sleeping bags, a must. If you're having a bug out, but most people have sleeping bags. It's the right temperature ones for the right environments. Sleeping pads are perfect. You need those too. Tents. We always recommend at least have one pup tent and one large tent. That way if you do have to bug out, you can get in and get out. Seam sealers. These guys are great. You buy those tents that you know are going to leak. You use the Scotch Guard and the seam seal. You could transition that tent from being porous like Swiss cheese to nice and tidy dry. Bicycles. Bicycles do not have a shelf life. They will last forever if you take care of them. Get a tube patch repair kit. Find the right bike. They'll be everywhere. But they'll be they'll be needing, so be careful with your bikes. Make sure you lock them up. And during an SHT event, that's what you're going to save your life, maybe, would be a bike. Board games. Board games are a must. Something to keep the family occupied while the lights are out. They're not very expensive. They don't have a shelf life. If you have little ones, they have the play toys. They'll be happy. But remember, games keep the mind active. You can always buy a couple, put them away. Chess. Deck of cards. Buys a few deck of cards. Keep them in various areas. That way you can occupy your time while you're waiting for rescue. A lot of these games are very compact. A lot of them are a little bit bigger, but you can still have fun. For all your furry friends and your flying friends, remember that they need to be prepped for also. Either through food, like the bucket style. But remember, they have to be kept happy too, or they'll run away. I don't recommend buying items like these, but if you know how to do raw hide, the chew toys, the chew sticks like these here, would be perfect for long-term storage. You put them away and forget about them. Seal them up. Remember your pets. Seeds. Seeds are very important. Fruits, vegetables, things you can grow in your own yard. Ward off the scurvy. Ward off boredom. Seeds. Every year. Seeds are not very expensive and they do last quite a while if they're stored properly. And that's your food supply. You could do it from a foot to a full garden. Outdoor food preparation, folks. If you've got that grill and you take care of it, it'll last you for quite a while. Propane will be something that will go by the wayside in the future, so just maintain a steady supply. But if you're smart, you could buy the 20 pound propane bottles and dump them into the eight ounce propane containers and reuse them over and over and over again. So remember, outdoor food preparation might have to be the way you get your food cooked. While you're out gardening, you're going to need some things for that. Garden tools and security items, safety items, gloves. Always wear gloves. It's important to take care of your hands in an SHT event. Simple gardening tools. If you have to scavenge, this is where you'll go to find that stuff. It'll be quick that this stuff will go bye-bye, but just make sure you can get in and get out. All these other items are luxuries. So remember, if you want to attract birds, feed them. Get rid of those insects. If you have a way to feed the food, feed the plants, that's a way to go also. It does have a decent shelf life, but not a permanent one. So buy in the early spring or right when winter's over. That should last you to two, through summer, through fall. Jiffy makes a fantastic greenhouse for spices and vegetables. Always look at these guys. Their shelf life is extended because of the way they process the material. They're guaranteed to grow. 
You just add water and sunlight, and you can transplant them later. And once again, these are fantastic jiffy pots because they're biodegradable. You put the food to grow in there, and you can bury it in the ground, or replant it to a larger container. The Jiffy Seas Daughters. For your gardening needs, I highly recommend, if anybody has any problems getting on the ground, are these raised garden beds. They also help keep the critters away, but they also sell the plastic things to keep them out also. Visit your local Home Depot to find more quantities of it, but here at Walmart, they at least give you the option to buy them. Outdoor solar lights. These are self-explanatory, folks. From spotlights to mood lighting to emergency lighting to spotlights. These guys here are free energy producers. They can be used for other things, but remember, solar lighting at night is important to keep your compound safe and secure. Sensual, 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 this. Now take this one out. Lamp oil. It's very important if you're going to use these little lamps to have some of the oil around. They're, they don't go bad, so if your budget allows it, one or two bottles of lamp oil. Well, folks, we hit the back. We hit the jackpot when it comes to appliances. A lot of these guys here are energy hogs. So remember, if you have the ability to keep the power on, don't deprive yourself of those luxuries. But I've seen these things before. They are great to have around if you can afford them. For those folks out there who prepare their own food, these little oven toast, toaster ovens and convection ovens will use that energy you produce very stingily. 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 They will use it very well. Smaller microwaves are also a good hedge against energy consumption they do use a lot less power than the large kind appliances during an SHT event can be a trying event unless you have the power available if you've got battery backup inverters you have solar wind you can still use your appliances it's just the upkeep washing them cleaning them if you're in a group a lot of people are there. These guys would be a lifesaver. When those people come to eat, they want to sit down and have that food right away. So if you have a group and you can have electricity, don't throw away your appliances. 